The last two days of Grant Cardone's GrowthCon have been amazing. I've learned some amazing things. I've seen some incredible speakers, guys like Kevin Turner, who managed over a trillion dollars in revenue for Walmart, Megan Kelly, uh, Brandon Dawson, guys worth hundreds of millions of dollars, guys who have gone from a $2 million company to a multi eight figure exit in just three years. I've learned so much. And today I wanna to talk to you about the most valuable thing that I've learned so far that I think will be most valuable for you in growing your following online, growing your business online, so that you can live a life on your own terms. So let's get right into it. We know content is king, but there's a very specific thing you can do to, to win this content game, which is actually putting out content on other people's platforms. So what do I mean by that? Well, the number one thing that you can do in 2023 to grow your business and grow your income is to get on other people's stages. So they teach this framework called the Story Braid Framework, or they call it your signature talk. And once you learn how to do this specific talk, it teaches you how to bring people in, get them engaged, teach them really valuable stuff so they love you and think you're incredible and want to work with you. And then give them an action step, like get your free product or buy this or do that. And then finally, inspire them at the end again to move towards that thing that you just told them to do. And if you do this right and you do it on other people's stages, then what happens is it makes that person's uh, audience really love that person more and make them feel like that person's their hero because they brought you on. And when you're able to express that to this person prior to getting on their stage, they're gonna say, oh my goodness, I would love to have you on board. Right, so let's say somewhere out there, there's people with thousands of followings in every different niche you can imagine, but say it's art, right? A guy who loves painting every single day. And you come in and you're really into sculpting or something else, right? A lot of artsy people <clears throat> are into many different kinds of art, right? And so what if you made a signature talk about how to do sculpting and you brought everybody in and you talk about how initially when you, you were trying to do art, you weren't very good at it and your sculptures would fall apart. And when you tried to use a pottery wheel and it was spinning around, that it would always topple. And then certain things happened and you learned certain things and you were able to get that object to keep its form and look beautiful and just right. And you taught them all these different steps. And then you gave them an action step was like, hey, head to my website. I've got training videos that teach you how to get into pottery, what it's going to take, you know, what's a good deal versus a bad deal on a pottery wheel, where to get your clay, what kind of clay, because there's all kinds of different clays. And you taught all this great stuff. And you know, they go to you, your website, put in their information, you now capture them as leads and they become your followers. And then finally you inspire them to do that at the end. If you do that, this artist who's got 10,000 people who look at them every day is going to absolutely love it. They're gonna love to have you on. They're gonna love to talk about, oh, I love, yeah, sculpting's so cool, right? I got into this because of X, Y, Z, but I've always thought sculpting was amazing. And so it's just a win, win, win for everyone. So. What I want to talk about right now specifically is just how to structure your signature talk. Because I've seen this signature talk over and over and over the last two days. By the way, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, uh, no, no, yesterday, the day before, and today, nine hours each day of growth con. I'm just incredible people. So if I don't respond to you today, you know, there's a good reason for that. Anyway, here's what you do to create a signature talk that brings people in. There's four parts. There's the opening heart story. There's the content. There's the call to action. And there's the closing heart story. So I kind of already explained this, but the opening heart story, essentially what you want to do is you want to tell a story that everyone can relate to. All right, so don't tell the story of you having incredible success or making amazing pieces of art. You want to tell the story of you failing to do something successfully. Or, or more specifically, like if you can just imagine when other people start in their business careers or their art careers or whatever it is, and they weren't doing very good, right? You want to tell a story that everybody leans in and they go, oh yeah, I've been there, right? Because you don't want to alienate your audience. 
about telling them how great you are. That's what most people do. That's the last thing you want to do. You want to bring them in and they go, mm-hmm, yeah, I've been there. Then what you want to do is your content section. So quick note, of these four sections, the opening heart, the action, and, and the closing heart are all kind of the same length always, right? This could be a five-minute presentation or a 30-minute or an hour presentation or more, right? But the content section is what's kind of like an accordion. If you've only got five minutes, you only want to teach maybe one valuable piece of content. And if you've got an hour, maybe you teach five, ten different really valuable things for, you know, how to do pottery or whatever it is, right? So then the content section is all about giving them something valuable. And the key piece to this is you really want to help people. You want to give them your absolute best stuff away for free. And the reason for that is that if they actually get a benefit out of this talk. They, they learn something that they're going to take away and be like, oh my goodness, this was so valuable. I'm going to apply this to my life. It's actually going to make my life better or my pottery skills better or my business better. Then what's going to happen is in their head, they're going to say, you know, what would it be like to work with this person? So, and if you don't give away good content, if your stuff isn't that valuable and you're just trying to sell people the whole time, then what's going to happen is they didn't get anything valuable out of your free thing. So they're going to go, well, why would I pay this person since I didn't get anything out of what they talked about normally? I probably wouldn't get anything out of buying stuff from them. So the content section is specifically very tactical, helpful things that, you know, your goal is to get them a quick win. And similarly, in your action step, you can ask people to do whatever you want, right? Say, hey, do this or do that or whatever it is, right? To make them feel better, have a better life, um, right? To get your free thing. But again, one of the best things you can do in your action step is to give them a resource that is also going to help them with everything that you just taught to give them a quick win. So let's imagine you taught them a whole bunch of things about marketing that are really successful. And then you say, hey, head to my website. I'm going to give you this one pager with like a step-by-step -step blueprint for the next 30 days. Actually, I should probably do this. With a step-by-step -step blueprint for the next 30 days of what you can do, or by the end of that 30 days, you'll have 100 people listening to you every day, and you'll have gotten at least one to three new clients for whatever your business is. Just follow this blueprint. You do something like that, and, you know, it's actually, it'll be incredible, but actually what they taught yesterday, I got a caveat on that, I thought that was a good idea. What they specifically taught yesterday is you want to give something that gives them an immediate win or a win within one to two days. So ideally, if you can give them something that immediately gives them a win, well, then they're going to remember you and think, wow, that was so valuable, so incredible. I, I can't wait to listen to this person again. I can't wait to see what else they come out with. And then finally, your fourth part is the closing heart story. And this could be a story, but it could also just be an inspiring quote. Something like, if I can do it, you can do it too. Right? If I can do it when I was in XYZ place and I was a down and out and nothing was working in my life and now everything's incredible, you can do it too. And the whole point is just to inspire people to move them to that action. And now you can do this again, like I talked about in short form, five minutes or long form hour or two hours, and you can use it to sell anything in the world. And it's really, really important that you always get that final story in there. That's final inspiring thing because out there in the world, there are logical buyers and there are emotional buyers. And typically, in most relationships, men are the logical buyers and women are the emotional buyers. So let's say, like, I saw one yesterday where at the end of it, they were trying to get people to buy a $10,000 product from the stage. And, you know, if I had the money, I immediately would have done it. <laughs> no question. Um, but, you know, right now, it just didn't make sense to me. So <clears throat> I looked at that, and what was incredible, what they taught is that essentially, you might logically be like, this makes sense, let's do it. In fact, there was another thing I was going to buy yesterday, but my wife was like, no, right? Because she wasn't on board because she didn't see the talk. <clears throat> and so even if a logical buyer goes through, here's your whole thing, it's like, this makes sense, it's so valuable, I got to do it. There's an emotional side to it that can put the kibosh on it, right? Your wife can still put the kibosh on it, right? And if your wife is a buyer, well, then immediately if you're losing that last part, you're losing at least 50% of sales because you're losing all of your emotional buyers. But then you're also losing some of your logical buyers because the emotional buyers are going to tell them, no, don't do it. So <clears throat> that's all I wanted to say for today 
if you want to have the most success possible in 2023, the fastest, most inexpensive way to grow your audience massively and get to a place where you can make money not having to work for anyone else, doing whatever you want, creating culture, art, business, just doing wonderful things, you want to get on other people's stages and master your signature tone. Thank you.